a daily washing with God's Word will help scrub away the filth of this world's thinking. Top of the morning to you. When we study the word cleanse with the eyes of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we find that the, the term throughout the Old Testament in regards to sacrifice for our sins, Leviticus 16.30, For that in that day the priest shall make atonement for you, to cleanse you, that you may be clean from all your sins before the Lord. Psalm 19.12, Cleanse me from secret faults, O Lord. Psalm 51, 2, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Cleansing and God's word were linked in Psalm 119, 9. How can a young man change, um, cleanse his way? By taking heed according to your word. Ephesians 5, 25-26, husbands, love your wives that God may sanctify and cleanse her with the washing of water by the word. Jesus in Matthew 23, 25 was concerned with cleansing when he addressed the religious leaders of the time called scribes and Pharisees, he told them that they were hypocrites because they were more concerned with looking good on the outside and neglecting to cleanse their inner being. He told them to cleanse the inside of the cup and dish, then the outside may be, also, may be clean also. He told them, you appear beautiful outwardly, but inside you're full of death and uncleanliness. Verse 28, even so you are you also outwardly appear righteous to men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. In 2 Corinthians 7, 1, Paul tells us to cleanse ourselves from uh, filthiness and of the flesh and spirit for the purpose of perfecting holiness in the fear of the Lord. For we are the temple of the living God, where God dwells with us and walks among us. I will be their God, and, will, and they will be my people, he says. Verse 17, Therefore come out from among the world, be separate, do not touch what is clean, unclean, and I will receive you. Verse 18, I will be a father to you, and you shall be my sons and daughters. Then we find in Hebrews 9.14, The blood of Christ cleanses our conscience from dead works, enabling us to serve the living God. 1 John 1, 9, If we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive and cleanse us, from all unrighteousness. Word of encouragement, when we live in a dirty environment, we're bound to get some of that dirt of the world rubbing off on us. James 4, 8 says, tells us to cleanse our hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Acts twenty two sixteen, we are encouraged, why are you waiting? Arise and be baptized and wash away your sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Have a great day.